Hi, welcome back to the Power Public YouTube channel. Today we're back on the KZ build up project and we're going to be installing the radiator and all the pipe work, hose clamps, water pump. So let's get to it. So today we're going to be installing the radiator. Now it's already semi pre assembled because it came from a cart that was already race ready and we've just stripped it all, painted it, and doing the reassembly for the project. So we've got our water pump belts hose clamps, the radiator assembly with the brackets, the hoses, the water pump, and these quick connect. Right, so we're going to install the radiator. Now, we're just going to lay this on a cart like so, and then put the first of the clamps bolts into the bearing house. We're just going to install this screw into the bearing cassette like so. So do this this one up with a, a ratchet will make it, the job a little bit easier. Just leave that nipped up until we get the other bolt and the bracket on. So this one, the lower bracket just goes onto the chassis here. From Tony Carter got that on their seat, uh, their side pod um, bar mounting on the chassis, and then there's this little bracket welded to it, and just. Screw that. And then just do this one up. Now the radiator should be able to pivot just a little bit if you haven't done those bolts up too tight. So we'll just leave them a little bit loose for now and then we'll get the radiator in position and then lock them off. Don't forget to do that before you hit the track where your radiator is gonna flop around everything. So next up you wanna install the water pump here onto the chassis bracket for the water pump. Slide that bolt in there and just quickly do up this uh, this bolt just like so. Same thing, just nip that bolt up so that you can still move the water pump around and then in the final step we'll put the belts on and put the tension on the belts and lock that in water pump into position. Next step is to install the hoses and the hose clamps. So get your hose, I mean it's pretty simple this one, but just slide him on there like that. And then put your hose clamp on and do it up with a, either a socket, a 7mm or a flat blade screwdriver. So get your tiny socket and just hold the hose clamp with your finger and do that little guy up there nice and tight. The beauty of using a seven millimeter socket is that obviously it doesn't slip off. And if you use your flat blade screwdriver, just to get it tight, you will start to slip and you know, you stretch it all out and it makes the job pretty messy. So get a little socket, do it up the right way. We just got to stretch this piece of hose over the, the, uh, the fitting on the combustion chamber here. Right. Put that on there and then we'll back this one off. Just have to stretch that hose clamp out to get it over the, the bell end there. And then a little bit of light pressure there with your fingers just to get it started again back on now you don't want to over tighten these because they're only um, a small steel pressing and if you just keep cranking it up you'll end up just uh, sort of stripping the, th the thread out there so just pretty firm pressure but you don't have to get like a half inch breaker bar and twist those little guys so on this cart we've got these little quick connects which are a good thing so instead of having to unbolt all the hoses, if you wanted to do an engine swap, you just uh, press that down, pull that apart. These are spring-loaded and got a little O-ring there. And then you just clip it back together. Boom, cool, ready to go. So we've got these little uh, O-ring pulley belts here and they've just got a clip and you just unclip it there like so or clip it back up. Okay, so we want to go around the axle so pull the clip apart 
and feed your o-ring around the axle and clip it back together like so oops comes apart easy and then let's just stretch that onto the water pump spin the axle and it'll um, straighten itself up and then do the same for the other side So now we can adjust the, the tension on the belts. Okay, you can see them just running along there nice. So do this bolt up now, and you should be able to move the pump into position. And then if you lock it off, so then that pump won't Take the tension off the belt, once you're out on the track. Perfect. All right, so now we are one step closer to finishing the KZ project. Radiator and all the hoses are put on. Next up, we're probably gonna throw the seat in it, fuel tank, floor tray, steering wheel. So it's just a couple of little things and we're ready to go make some uh, noise with this thing. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Power Republic. Don't forget, we have an online store. If you wanna show a little support, jump on there, www.powerrepublic.com.au. Have yourself a t-shirt or a hat. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.